speed of a boat in still water is 15 km per hour and the speed of the current is 3 km per hour. The distance travelled by the boat from point P to Q downstream is 15 km more than the distance covered by the same boat from Q to R upstream in the same time. How much time will the boat take to travel from R to Q downstream? Right. So now it is clearly mentioned that P to Q is downstream, correct? Q to R is upstream and uh, man speed is 15, stream speed is 3. Downstream? 18. Upstream? 12. Distance from P to Q is 15 kilometers more than from Q to R. If the distance from Q to R is D, P to Q becomes D plus 15. And they said time is same? Come on. That means D plus 15 by 18 is equal to D by D by 12. If you calculate this, you will get D value. Then finally, we were asked to calculate if R to Q is downstream and time taken to travel D kilometers is. So, this is one way to calculate D value. But there is another way. Let me tell you one thing. So, here same time they said. Here is the logic. If time is constant, what is proportionality between distance and speed? Directly proportional. Downstream speed? 18. Upstream speed? Ratio? If the speed ratio is 3 is to 2, distance ratio also must be 3 is to 2. How many parts difference we have? And how many kilometers difference? Then one part is equal to 15. 3 parts is 45. 2 parts is? So, distance from Q to R is 30 and these 30 kilometers if travelled in downstream with the speed 18. Time taken is 5 by 3 which is 1, 2 by 3 hours, 1 hour 40 minutes final. 